campaign from past that deals with um, it's an anti-discriminatory campaign. Paleontology. <laughs> Paleo meaning ancient yes. and ontology meaning the study of life. So the study of ancient plants and animals including us Humans. Past is an organization that is based uh, at Johannesburg and what they do is that they support students that study paleontology and they fund them and um, we also have an educational theater program that goes out to schools to teach them about the paleo sciences. <laughs> We are currently performing at Cyphest. Basically, the story that we have in the show is that it's, a, it's, a, it's an everyday story. It's, they relate to it. And we have taken science, added it to the story to make it um, accessible to everybody. We will now take you back to 200,000 years ago, where we find the next hominid, Homo sapiens, ourselves. People don't expect that uh, you can combine science and theater until they see it on stage, you know. So I always say to them, okay, when they ask, how, how do you combine science and theater? I was like, it's like any story, like any love story. Just now the, the, the concept is different. It is not love, but it is science. As you can see, that everything that makes us human started right here in Africa, from bipedalism, artwork, technology, and language. There's a scene where we actually call a few of the students to come and help us on, on the show, in, in the show, which gives an example that, you know, their fellow students see what they're doing and they also learn because they're part of it. So I think that's a very positive thing. At nine million years ago, we find the ancestors of the gorilla. Yes. Evolving into the gorillas if you see today. Gorilla face. <laughs> Some of the comments that we get from the actual teachers, they're like, yo, I wish you guys could come to my school because the way that I teach them is different from what you have just guys have just done. As a it was a licensed teacher, it was so relevant to them. I hope they learned a lot because at times the teachers in class, they confuse the fact that we share a common ancestor with the chimpanzees. They think we are related to them. So it was cleared up there. We find an important split with the branch leading to the chimpanzees and the other to us humans. Okay, yes. Mr. Paz. Yes. So what you are saying is that your great 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 grandmother was a chimpanzee. <laughs> ah, I could have told you that. Was. <laughs> the answer is no. I do think educational theatre could be used more as the way of teaching in classrooms because it makes it much more easier for kids to grasp. You know, because when you are seeing uh, what um, the teacher is talking about, then it is easier for you, you remember it easier, you catch it easily, you know, so, yeah. Uh, the performance was great, it was excellent, I really enjoyed it. I found it really interesting because they are demonstrating what they are telling us as compared to being taught at the class, in the classroom by a teacher. Mm, Alpha One was a great show, they 
taught us everything, like where we came from. Um, the way science is taught in the classroom, I think um, they should be more general in the acting manner whereby students will understand than rather than like always teaching and making us understand in their own thinking. I would really love to be taught like that because here they make it more practical in such a way they show us how they were made instead of in class they would just show pictures from the textbook so yeah I would love to be taught like that. It takes courage to tolerate each other's differences and moreover to use your strength and those of others to collaborate to save the planet. After all, we are all from one. Ah! Maybe the Department of Education could work with us or yeah, anybody who does something similar. You know, because I think this is the way you know, 